Greetings family, this is our Mentally Awaken at MNTV Oracle and I have been inspired to read you one of the um, soul healing poems from my book 12 Seas to Awaken Your Spirit. It is a workbook, spiritual and personal development workbook um, based on 12 seeds that we are basically here to nurture through our own journey. We are the seed, we are the star that comes down to be planted in Mother Earth to be nurtured by the elements of the fire the earth the air and the water and to grow you know to return back to our divine stars in the universe in the source and so i'm going to share with you one of the healing prose from the book and this one's called my beginning and it was me writing the story of why i came to this planet and how i came to this planet and this is a soul memory this is on a soul level so i want to share this with you it's called my beginning patiently waiting for my time to be meticulously planning with my angels guides and me for the greatest trip of life the beginning of a long long journey now begins my biggest challenge to experience more of me Lightening my vibration, making my descent, part of divine planning and ready for this big event. My mother I have chosen for her unique qualities. All the greatest keys inside of her now reside in me. From my father's seed comes all the strength I need. And as my numbers called, the stars wait to greet me. And as the portal opens, there's a new world that I see. A world of love and colour, the lessons of duality, the illusion of restriction and a longing to be free. Through the birth canal I travel to a world that welcomes me. I have arrived. Bursting through the barriers, blood runs like the seas. Bright lights flicker, faces glimmer and I open my eyes to see. I take a great big breath, my entrance is made. I'm ready to break free, ready to scream, yellow, hello, yelling, hello world, I've arrived, it's me. Part two, I let go. I give thanks for life and then I get let go. I give thanks for all that I am and then I let go. I love without apology and then I let go. I dance to the universe's rhapsody and then I let go. I create from a place of passion and purpose and truth, and then I let go. I cry, I share, I love, I connect, and then I let go. I feel, I embody, I experience and I embrace, and then I let go. I marvel at the wonders and see them manifest, and then I let go. I heard the call and agreed to be one of the ones. And then I let go. I lost my way down the rabbit hole. And I forgot to let go. I remember part three. My descent down the rabbit hole. Dense vibration holding me. The pushing, the pulling, the stress and the strife. Emotions running all around and through me as I enter this game of life. Nothing feels like love down here. So much pain cuts like a knife. Restricted energy, no longer free, trapped in a body. What's happened to me? Interactions with the beings down here is slow and not so nice. Everyone is busy rushing around and many have hearts as cold as ice. They know not that better awaits them when they open their hearts and minds. The whole universe awaits their ascension. They are a part of a grand design. I remember a trumpet sounding one through seven times. The people of earth, they need you. Time to rise and shine. That moment my heart ignited as I answered the magical call. I forgot to remember the, creator, the creator's wise words as I began to fall. 
deeper and deeper and deeper into carbon density. Body and bones and blood with divine essence running through me. I landed in this body, bound and no longer free. But I remember this overwhelming feeling inside of great purpose, passion and intensity. A feeling that helped me remember there's something more to me. In this life I have a purpose. A voice says, remember your soul is free. The pain of being in my body, the angels guided me. They tossed me in light and wrapped me in love and sung me soundly to sleep. From the beauty filled slumber I awakened in a world with lights and screams. I looked into the face of my mother. It felt like it had all been a dream. I had seen her face before on the moon, heaven's TV screen. I thanked my mother for housing me in her earthly time machine. I marveled at the wonder, excitement filled in me. I'm on a secret mission. Something about being free. Life's deep dark spiral manifested plenty for me to see. Abuse, rejection, hurt and pain were all new experiences to me. I couldn't understand why the people here acted so horribly. I saw shards of energy flying from them in anger. If only they could see what I could see. They eat at flesh like animals, believing it's their right and reign. They were told by the ones who put them to sleep that this was their domain. I felt lost and misguided in a world filled with hurt and pain. I sought to always be the rainbow and be a positive part of the game. I tried to be the sunshine that dried up all the rain, but I could still not remember the true greatness from which I came. The more I helped, the more I became. The very same thing I had come here to change. Feeling like a human trapped in the game from the world of spirit, I felt disengaged. I dedicated my life here to helping others to be free, to bringing light to the darkest corners and to helping people to see how powerful, beautiful and perfect the design of man can be when it releases itself from the darkness, awakens and knows its true ability. Mother Earth's inhabitants are part of a story, a great conspiracy. You've forgotten how to fly and you have been robbed of your divinity. You've forgotten that you are kings and queens, perfect in every way. You've forgotten that you're cut from the cloth of creation and Mother Earth is the garden in which you play. You've forgotten that you can move mountains with faith the size of a mustard seed and you've forgotten to seek the magic in that which you cannot see. You've forgotten to be the superheroes that you see on your TV screens and you've forgotten that good health and abundance are gifts of your divinity and all that you will ever truly need. You've forgotten that you're more than a body, limited by all you see and you've forgotten to ask the questions, what really flows through me? But many here are supporting you, reminding you of who you are, speaking to your hearts and mind and guiding you from the stars. I forgot that I was one of them as I came down the rabbit hole. So saddened by what I thought and felt, I forgot what I was told. I enjoy all life and then I let go. I connect with all things and then I let go. I dance in the darkness and then I let go. I dance with the stars and then I let go. I love for the sake of loving, I go with the ebbs and flows, I hurt, I heal, I understand, and then I let go. As I let go, I remember how I came to be, in this physical body, restricted but yet free. I came here for a purpose, I came as I heard the call, I forgot what spirit had told me when I jumped down the rabbit hole, but now I remember with every part of me, I'm here to raise the vibrations for our earth family, by leading by example, the Christ consciousness I embody, the key to evolution, the consciousness is within me. I let go of separation, I let go of the control in me. I let go of restriction and I let go of disease. Awaken from your slumber, awaken and be free. Remember who you are my friend and you will surely see that there's magic in every moment if you choose to see. 
open up, let go and be guided, awaken and be free.